I cheated on my boyfriend with his dad. But things got complicated after that. Well, of course. Well, yeah, I would I would assume so. I would think so. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to the very first episode of Anonymously Yours. I'm your host Tila Dunn and each week I will be joined with a very new guest and we will be reading the juiciest, craziest confessions that are sent in anonymously, of course. We're gonna be reacting to them, we're gonna be giving advice if we would do the crazy confessions or if we've had an experience similar to it. So before we dive into today's juicy topics, I wanna give a warm welcome to my very, very, very first guest ever and also my best friend in the whole world, Isabella Ferreira. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Bella. Thank you for having me, TT. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm so good. I'm honestly a little nervous for all these topics. I took a little yeah. brief look yeah. at some of the stories, and I don't think we're ready. I'm a little scared. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm, I'm here with you, and I'm excited. So Exactly. So for those of you guys that don't know, Bella and I met about a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we were filming a movie called Crush, which is actually now available on Hulu, yes. so make sure you guys... Check it out, but Bella, who do you play in the movie? I play Gabriella in the movie. She is the so-called crush popular of girl. it all. Popular it girl. But she's sweet. Yeah, she's, she's a sweetheart, but she's the Latina queer it girl yes. um, in the school, and it's really fun, so definitely go check it out if you can. It's a really juicy, cute, rom-com love story. I play Stacey Clark. We're really good friends in the movie, and mm -hmm. we literally hit it off from day one. We filmed the movie in Syracuse, New York, which yeah. I've never been to <laughs> my whole life. I'm from Jersey. She's from Philly, so we're from the East. East Coast, but like Syracuse was something else. It was uh, it was definitely an experience, yes, for sure. To but say the least. it brought us together, so I'm very grateful for it. And I'm Me too. Happy. Yes. So Bella, I know that I know you very very well. But yeah. what is the craziest thing that you've ever done, whether it was like on set or as a kid or a teen, whatever, that you've never told anybody before? Oh, this is this is a hard one. I don't think I could say the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> we'll keep it PG. But for now. yeah, we're gonna keep it PG. Um, I guess something that I've done that I haven't told anyone really. I broke into an abandoned power plant before oh. <laughs> with my sister and a couple of our friends. No way. Yeah, we like fully like hopped the gate and it, it was it was like about sunset, so it was kind of spooky, but it was really fun. And there was like graffiti everywhere. What? It was probably like 50 years old and it's just this abandoned building. No but we got way. like a beautiful skyline of Philly and it was a really cool experience. But I've never told anyone that. About Wait, that, so. that was a really good confession. That's yeah. crazy. And that sounds like beautiful. It kind of sounds therapeutic. Yeah, it was It was a little therapeutic, a little scary. Yeah. We walked sketch. around with like flashlights and stuff. Oh, but, no. And then we started hearing sounds. We no. started hearing other people and we were like, what's going on? Nope. Is this haunted? Yeah. Are those probably, are there other people it probably here? was haunted. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, but we were safe in the end. So That's it's all okay. that matters. She's here today to tell the tale. That's that. I think one of the craziest things I've ever done, which honestly isn't that crazy, I, I want to say it's more on the lines of like dangerous and mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever told anybody this. So back when I was like 16, um, me, my friends, Ricky Thompson, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but I love him so much. We were celebrating our friend's birthday and she was having like a beach bonfire um, all the way in Malibu, but it was like, it was one of those sketchy beaches where you literally yeah. have to like climb rocks and like go through the water low key to get to the area because we're not like allowed to really do the bonfire right. except like in this spot. So the water was crazy that day. Like it was, and y'all all know I can't swim. So I was already <laughs> like scared. We had marshmallows, we had everything. Um, and then basically we had a great Malibu beach party bonfire with s'mores, you know, you name it, we did it. It was like midnight. But then we had to rush back because the water was getting too high and we weren't going to be able, I mean, I can't swim. So I was like, we got to go now. Yeah, so there was like no Ubers because it was so late. So we all had to squeeze in the back of our friend's pickup truck. And oh. there was no seatbelts. There was, like, we were not supposed to be back there. There was, like, five of us in the pickup truck, the back of the pickup truck. My mama doesn't even know this. She's going to find <laughs> out. I'm so sorry, mama. I'm okay. <laughs> but we all were in the back of the pickup truck driving on the 405. No seatbelts, like, for, like, 30 minutes. So that's probably the craziest thing I've done. Sorry, mother. It's okay. I'm alive and safe. But definitely wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, I don't think Very so. Very sketchy. I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah, because I could have popped right out. But... <laughs> yeah, it's probably the sketchiest thing I've done. 
So now that we've got our little juicy secrets out the way, coming up, we have some juicy stories. A girl stole all the toilet paper from her ex's house. Another girl cheated on her boyfriend with his dad. Someone just found out that their parents are step-siblings. And we'll meet someone who literally found their teacher's nudes in school. Lots to uncover, guys, so Very grab a snack and we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's get into our first juicy anonymous story. We had an anonymous submission come in from someone who admitted to literally stealing all the toilet paper from their ex's house. It reads, I first started dating my ex back in high school and we ended up going to the same college. I was so excited to be going into this new chapter of life together. About a month into school, I joined a sorority and he joined a fraternity. We were about to have a very movie-like college experience until... He started cheating on me with one of my sorority sisters. Oh, no. First of all, I just want to take a, be a brief <laughs> intermission. That is so shady. Yeah. Like, the whole point of having a sorority is to feel like a family and to have, like, sisters. And the fact that your sister did this to you? It's rude. It's rude. Like, I, mean, I, I feel like there's so much drama that probably goes down behind the scenes. There, yeah. Though. I mean... But like, a think group about of girls. it. Like, they probably got so close, and she's telling her all the boyfriend tea, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go study," and she's with the boyfriend. Like, no, I don't. Wow. I don't condone that. We don't like that. Shady. We already hate it. Already <laughs> hate it. Gonna be honest with you. About a month into school, oh yeah, um, I immediately broke it off with him, but not without a parting gift. Mm -hmm. He had moved into his fraternity house, and his frat was having a party one night. So my friends and I went to the party and started taking all, and I mean every single roll, of their toilet paper. We were throwing it out the windows to someone at the bottom, putting it in our purses, you name it. We stole the extra rolls from under the sink, took it out of the cabinets, and found their extra stash in the kitchen. We took everything. His fraternity made a Facebook post about it, thinking it was a prank by another frat. But little does he know, it was me. My friends and I have never told anyone outside of our group that we did it, and to this day, they never caught us. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah, I think that that deserves some claps, honestly. That's the least she could have done. Honestly, the, the least. fact that, honestly, she could have burned his clothes. She yeah. could have poured a drink on his face. She could have did so much more. So the fact that she did this, I'm proud of you. You kept it classy, yeah. you know. At the end of the day, he's a piece of you-know-what, so... Why, why have the toilet paper when he's that, you know? So I think that was very fitting. I, I agree. I will say, though, I just think it's suspicious that we are just, just you know, sweeping under the rug the fact that your sorority sister hooked up with this guy. Yeah, I want to know, like, what she did to her. I mean, yeah. but also you have to think about it. They are they living live together, together. So it's like, what could you really do? They need to have an intervention. She needs to sit her down and follow her off everything. About it. Yeah. Cause that's, a, that's not a friend. That's not a real friend. No. Definitely not a sorority sister. That's not somebody that you can tell your tea to. Cause clearly mm -hmm. she was running Sneak. when you were having problems. And she said, let me go talk to your man real quick. Yeah. I just wonder, awful. like, was the sorority sister that cheated with the boyfriend also helping do this prank? Like, I have a lot of questions. Did she know beforehand? Or yeah. Did she, I, kind of, did she find out during? I have a lot of questions. But I, I do of approve questions. of the toilet paper situation. I do. Again, that's the least she could have done, honestly. And I don't think it's that messy. It's like, it's funny. It's at a it's frat a party. It's a little prank. Yeah. Silly, goofy mood. Why not? Nobody got hurt. There's no violence. And I approve of the message. Yeah. I just hope good. that her and the sorority sister are not friends anymore because that girl cannot be trusted and she's canceled. canceled. End of discussion. End of discussion. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> Bella, I want to ask you, do you think revenge is the best medicine? Um, oh, that, it really depends. Yeah. But I, I feel like me now, no. Yep. I, I, I honestly, I just take things how it is and I try and walk away from situations as best as I can. As boring as that sounds, <laughs> but I mean, no, it's true. I feel like I'm just so unbothered at this point that it's just like, why waste your energy? Why waste my energy on people that did me like this? Yeah, you know exactly. And I really think, um, 
and this is why I love Bella so much. She always gives me the best advice. But at the end of the day, like people that do you wrong, like mm -hmm. they're gonna get karma on their own way. You don't have to yeah. be like, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them, because you honestly lose part of yourself and you mm -hmm. become just like them. Like fighting yeah. fire with fire never works. And this is coming from two Sagittarius fire signs. Right. But honestly, that just never works. And I personally think that's the best revenge is your success and you moving on and mm -hmm. you being happy and healing. Mm -hmm. That is just the best revenge of it all because it goes to show that yeah. you grew as a person. You kill them with kindness, as Period. they always say. Period. So, no. Revenge no. is the best it, policy. Revenge ain't it. <laughs> revenge is so 2020 how. 2020. And 2020 was a terrible year, so <laughs> let's just skip right over that. Tila, what I want to know is... How do you feel about that situation and the motive, motives behind that girl? I mean, have you ever been in that situation before? Oh, Bella. Or experienced a girl trying Oof. to get at your man? Bella, boy, do I have a story for you. What? I'm scared. Yes. Okay, we're going to get deep real quick. So y'all get your tea, <laughs> pop the popcorn, maybe put some M&Ms in the popcorn, get a oh, bowl. Oh, yes, Because this one is a lot to unravel, All okay? right, let's get into it. So when I was 18, I was best friends with this girl. And it's really funny. I can tell the story now and be completely over it because I actually saw this girl literally like two days ago. Right. And she's so sweet. She's so talented. And we are so good now. Like, there's no drama at all. We were very, very young. We were literal teenagers. I mean, she's in her 20s now. She's killing it. But it's funny because we literally talked about this story just two nights ago. And she was mm -hmm. like, I can't believe I did this to you. Like, what was I thinking? Basically, I was best friends with this girl. Gorgeous, talented, beautiful girl my bestie, and I would take her to all the parties with me and all this stuff. I was very, 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 very innocent. Mm -hmm. Little 18-year-old girl. Um, this was before I ever had my first boyfriend or done anything. Like, I was a virgin, okay? Okay? Mm. Keep that in mind, because <laughs> that plays a big part. And But I would talk to a lot of guys and go on dates with a lot of guys, and obviously this girl's my best friend, so she would get all the tea. I would tell her everything after every date, and I was talking to this one guy who she also knew, she had a boyfriend at the time, okay? Let's keep this, let's Ooh. just start there, okay? She had a boyfriend at the time, and her boyfriend was friends with this guy that I was going on dates with. Lunch dates, we would go to like Malibu together, like very cute, you know, PG-13 rom-com type stuff. Like right. we watched the sunset together, like cute stuff. We cute. would hold hands, we would kiss. That's all we would do, right? But I was really starting to like this guy, and I was hanging out with him for about a month, like, Multiple times we would see each other a week and she would get all the tea and she'd be like, oh my God, you really like him? And I was like, girl, like I'm getting butterflies in my stomach every time he texts me. Aww. Like he's been picking me up from my house, like the whole nine. It seems like it was going to move into somebody that I could date, right? right? So I was definitely talking to this guy. She knew this. So one day me and this guy, like we're making out and I told him, hey, I'm a virgin. I don't mm -hmm. want to do anything unless like I'm in a relationship. He completely respected that and was like, well, wait, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And I told this bestie that and she knew I was a virgin. A week later, one week later, I'm oh, no. at this party, okay? This guy has like stopped texting me. The communication has been a little weird. Ooh. And I'm in my head, I'm like, whoa, what is going on? Me and this guy just had an amazing date. He told me he would wait. He told me he respected me. Why is he being weird? Yeah, what's I go the to this party the next weekend, and this girl, my bestie, is like all distraught. And I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, I'm just really sorry, like da 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 da. And I'm like, what happened? Sorry. Keep in mind, she still has this boyfriend. You're like, let's not stop. This girl is not single, okay? Like, they were going through problems, but she was in a relationship. So tell me why this bestie hooked up with the guy. You're kidding? Fully hooked up with him multiple in times. In a relationship. Yes, multiple times. Okay. And so we had an intervention. All of our other friends were there. And I started crying. She started crying. No. She's like, I regret it. Like, I, I don't even know why I did this. Like, this is going to ruin my relationship. I was just, I don't know what I was thinking. Da, 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 da. And I was bawling my eyes out. And I was like, how could you do this to me? Like, you're my best friend. No. And so then I cut things off with that guy, obviously. But right. I also, like, really started testing myself with her yeah, and our relationship was never the same. Like we went on years and years of just like saying that everything was fine and I forgave her. Right. And then the following year, it gets worse. It gets worse? It gets worse. So I was actually fully talking to this other guy. This was after I had a oh relationship. So I'm like, I'm probably like 19 now. I was talking to this other guy. We ended up running into each other at this event. We're all in the parking lot. And she's like, mm -hmm. Tila's there, da 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 Like, what's going on? 
And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe she's there. And I'm warning the guy that I'm talking to, like, stay away from her. Like, she hooked <laughs> up with the guy that I was talking to. Like, I know she's going to come for you. Like, stay away from her. And he's like, whoa, 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 calm down. It's not that it's, deep. It's fine. And I'm like, whoa, okay, damn. He's telling me to chill out. So we go inside and we like don't even talk to each other. And then turns out she followed him on Instagram and started liking all his photos. You're lying. The, that day. Girl, where are the boundaries? Where are the boundaries? Where are the boundaries? So then I was like, I can't deal with this girl. Like she's cut off. So I unfollowed her off everything. I think I might have blocked her at one point. I definitely <laughs> blocked her Twitter. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, and then that was the end of that. And then fast forward to two years later, it's now like. 2019 and uh we ran into each other at coachella and we made amends like actually made amends and she was like girl i don't know what i was thinking i was so mature like i regret all of that i was such a mean girl like Mm -hmm. i love you daddy da and i was just like you know at the end of the day i wasn't who i was back then anyway so let's just like forgive and forget um and then fast forward to two nights ago i saw her again and like just got the best vibes from her and everything's fine but yeah, that was crazy. That's insane. That's like, I insane. went through a lot. I mean, it's especially hard when you're so young, too. Yeah. Because I feel like everyone's just trying to navigate their way through things. And I understand, you know, you're sometimes things, things out. happen you yeah. know, that you can't really control. But I feel like in situations like that, you you can yeah. control it You can it get a out of that situation. It's especially girl, you if know you're in you a parked. relationship. Yeah. I think. I know. That's what's I mean, even crazier. That's that's what really gets me. But also the fact that she was such a close friend to you and she yep. would do something like that. Yep. It was really the definition of that uh, TikTok trend. Back, 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 stabba. That, yeah. that Kesha song. It was giving very much that. I mean, that's rough. Yeah. That's that, rough. You know, I learned a lot. I was like, oh, yeah, trust issues now. Trust <laughs> issues. Um, but we're all good now. And that's it's so good. crazy looking back, even on situations like that. Like, when you're so young and you're navigating life mm-hmm. and you're figuring out out different friend groups everything every little obstacle feels like the end of the world like no. i used to like not be able to sleep not be yeah. able to eat cry like just be so distraught over things that if that were to happen now i'm like okay. move on okay <laughs> and, and we're, we're what about on to the it? next <laughs> um and i just think that just goes to show how much we've grown as people and yeah. also who you surround yourself with now like i've been living in la since i was 16 and i went through so many different friend groups and now i can truly say that I found like the best group of friends ever. Bella's literally my ride or die. Like it's crazy. Bella and I will go 48 hours without seeing each other. And that for us is like two months. It's a little psychotic. It's a little, it's it's, good. I mean, we love each other. She's my best friend. So I don't know what I would do without Bella. It is what it is. It is what it is. (laughs) Shout out to crush movie for bringing us together. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Hulu. Thank you, Hulu. We love you. Okay, guys. It is time for our next juicy anonymous confession. All right. This one reads, I cheated on my boyfriend with his dad. Okay. (laughs) Let's, um... (laughs) It is too early Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. for this. What? I just have so many questions. What? I'm really hoping that you're an adult. Yeah. Let's start there. Let's start there. But regardless... No. No. I it, no. it's it's again about boundaries. Yeah. I mean there's just certain things that you don't cross. There's certain lines that you should never cross. Okay. Like, I don't care how bad this boyfriend did you dirty. That's insane, but no. we'll we'll continue. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. When I was a senior in high school. Okay. Uh, high senior, school? High school. Okay, but that's that could still be 17. Maybe. I have some questions. Mm, we're scared. When I was a senior in high school, I always thought my boyfriend's dad was so hot. Oh. One night, I was at my boyfriend's house late, and I cheated on my boyfriend with his dad. But things got complicated after that. Well, of course. Well, yeah, I would, I would assume so. <laughs> I would think so. Like, I don't think that would simplify the situation at all. Oh, my gosh. Um, his dad was the principal of my high school. This is giving pretty little liars. Yeah, what's happening here? It's giving pretty little liars. So I had to see him every single day while I was still with my boyfriend, in quotation, his son. My boyfriend was at his locker sitting with him at lunch, or he was walking me to class. I knew it was wrong, but we kept our fling going the entire second semester of my senior year. But it doesn't end there. My mom was a teacher at my high school. Oh. Oh. What? This isn't real. No. And there was a few close calls where I thought she might caught us. But as far as I know, my boyfriend never found out and neither did my mom. 
Um, that that's is gonna insanity. Take a little to digest. So um, you mean to tell me? Not only do you still have the boyfriend, a.k.a. the dad's son, who you are hooking up with, the dad works at the school, your mom also works at the school, and you guys are continuing to hook up at the school? As a high schooler with a father? So you're literally switching off. Like, at lunch, you're hooking up with his son, and during whatever period that the son's not there you're hooking up with the dad and then sixth period you go see your mom and like, and hope that she has a figure class out. what's happening what's i i I, re I wish that we knew like how this started me too like what what the real details of the matter is but this is beyond <laughs> messy because now you're affecting like so many different people like if your yeah. mother found out she would yeah. want to beat up your boyfriend's dad yeah and if your boyfriend found out he would also want to beat up his dad, but also break up with you. It, this is just a domino effect of chaos. And look, yeah. I'm, I'm all down for a little, like, you know, scandalous summer moment. But I just think this is too far. I'm, I'm mainly concerned for you because, like, this, the dad was, what, how old? Exactly. He's a principal. If he's a principal, he's not if he's a, a father. Teacher. He's a father and a principal. And if he's a father... This is a that predator means, at the at Literally, this point. that means his son is a senior too, which means he must be old. Yeah, not okay. That's... This is, this is not okay. I'm like hot after that. Like that <laughs> is like... I thought the first story was bad. This is insane. No, 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 no. We don't yeah, love that. No, that's, that's canceled. Um, I really hope you broke up with the son because... Yeah. Huh? And that you called out the principal because yeah, mm, yeah. I don't know if I agree with that one. I I'm I like love you the most. Whoever sent this in, it's a little. That's I'm alarmed. I'm a little scared for you. I think it's just <laughs> abort mission on all ends. There's really no words for it. Truly. There's no words except therapy. There you go. Key Better right help. There. It's easy. Therapy. This isn't sponsored, but. <laughs> Bella, when you were in real school, did you ever have a crush on a substitute teacher or anything like that? I think I think I did. Probably when I was younger. I, I'm pretty sure my fourth grade teacher, oh. Mr. Burst, oh. if you're out there somewhere. I don't I don't want you now, but I did have the biggest crush on you. I was a, I was a little girl. Oh, yeah. And he was like this like prince charming looking oh. like teacher. I don't know. He was adorable and he was so sweet. Oh. Um he was a little strict, but I was really good in math, which he was my math teacher, so oh, he was always that. nice to me. Not not in that way, though. No, he was um, respectful. Very respectful, very much I was in fourth grade, <laughs> but I did have a crush on a teacher before. Oh. Yeah, Mr. Burst. Well, I was homeschooled most of my life. I think I started homeschooling when I was like in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I never thought any of my teachers were cute when I was in elementary school, but... This is such a basic answer. I'm so sorry. Um, I just want to relate in some way. I definitely thought that Ezra from Pretty Little Liars was super hot, and I was so invested yeah. in Arya's storyline, which looking back at it now is, psychotic. is so problematic. But I mean, that whole show that was That whole show insane. was so crazy, but like, we were all so young watching Pretty Little Liars, like, thinking and that, was that like this a is okay. Like, oh like, my god. Like, we gosh. thought this was okay. Like, the oh teacher my god. and the student. Like, ooh, like a 30 year old guy or however old, 25, I don't know, she was supposed to be 15 or whatever. And we're like, ooh, that's so cute. So like, cool. Huh? No. No. What? And they, they like end up together too, which is like, huh? But, anyways, wow. I thought Ezra was super hot. I was always Team Ezra, which is very problematic looking at it now, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be Aria so bad. I was like, if only there was a black Aria, that would be me. <laughs> it would yep. be me. Yep. Okay, guys, we are now moving on to our third juicy anonymous confession. Ooh. Okay, our next submission starts out with, I just found out that my parents are step siblings. <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. Um, <laughs> what is going on? Like, I'm here for you all that are submitting, but is everything okay? Is everything like, all right? Is, is everything is okay? Is everything okay? I, um, let's get it. Let's get into it. <laughs> when my mom was a kid, her mom married my step grandpa. Okay. Okay. He already had a son from a previous marriage. So my mom gained a stepbrother. They were raised together in the same house from elementary school through high school. They were only a year and a half apart, so they were in the same grade and had the same classes at school and even went to the same college together. Oh. 
Well, <laughs> when they were 21, they told their parents, who were still married to each other, that they were in love oh, yeah. and had been secretly dating since high school. They had no blood relation, but they were still step siblings. A year after that, they got married, and nine months later, I was born. I have one other sister, and my parents are still married to each other. Okay. Um, hey, I mean, listen, that's a really hard one, but it's also not really hard. I feel like if I was raised with somebody yeah. as my brother, whether it's a stepbrother or not, blood related Automatically, or not, you're not going to see them yeah. in that way. Like, it would automatically yeah. be platonic AF, like... No. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's weird. It's just so weird. I don't know. That means it's been going on for a really long time. They said that they've been secretly dating since high school and they went to college together. Yeah. My thing is, how did the parents not find out or realize? Maybe they just see? thought, oh, they're really close. But who knows if they even cared? They're probably like, oh, okay. I guess you're not <laughs> blood related. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. I think the craziest part is the fact that. They admitted this while their parents were still together. Yeah. Because it's like, I mean, they really are keeping it in the family, huh? It's it's in the family for sure. I mean, step-siblings? Yeah. That couldn't you know, be me. This is very Clueless vibes. Because yeah. Clueless is one of my favorite movies ever. I've mm -hmm. seen that movie like 15 different times on a plane, at home. Like, that's just like the go-to. I love the fashion. I love everything about it. Yeah. But if you watch that movie a little much, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> hold up. You are falling in love with your stepbrother if you really think about it. Let's talk about it. Again, not blood related, but still, that was like her brother. Were they raised together in the movie too? Or? I think so. Because hmm. he like was teaching her how to drive and stuff. He was always a little older than her. Uh, Paul Rudd. Shout out to Paul Rudd. I just want to say hello. You're beautiful. And you're so hey talented. There. <laughs> I know you're not watching this, but. Who knows? You know you what? Know. Viewers, do your job. Send it around. I'm sure he's <laughs> married with children. But anyways. Um, That's a yeah, crazy it's, one. It's, That's a crazy one. I, I couldn't see myself doing that personally, but no. I have heard of a lot of stories that are similar. Yeah. Sex siblings just falling I mean, in love. I will say at least it's not a cousin situation because I've had people tell me stories like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. like I'm dating my second cousin. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like this is still in the bloodline. So yeah. at least they're not blood related. But it is still strange. Mm -hmm. well, well, listen to this. One of my old friends, I mean, this doesn't have to do with like step siblings or anything. But her mom had her from like her first relationship, I think. And then like. I guess her dad went to jail or something like that, and she went to the brother and had a kid with him. Oh! So my friend has, like, her brother is her cousin as well. Isn't oh, that crazy? Oh, my God. Isn't that twisted to think about? They, they fell in love. The dad went to, to she jail. She said, look, you're like, in jail. I got to do what you I got to do. do what you got to do, I It guess. is what it is. She said, I'm not waiting until you get out. <laughs> so I'm going to go to your brother, and, and now, now she has a brother and cousin. Wow. Two and one. Two yeah. and one. Two and one. <laughs> the more you know. I the mean, shout out know. to her. Go off. I mean, Go I off. guess. Go off. Tila, I don't know about you, but I'm really hot from those last few stories. I'm sweating. Um, you told a few stories, but I'm going to say this final submission. Ooh. And the final submission reads, Oof. I found my teacher's nudes full stop. What? Oh. oh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Huh? Okay, okay. I'm just gonna. How did you find them? Like, how, we're, were gonna they just we're, let's, out? let's get let's, into this. Let's, 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 di let's digest. <laughs> when I was in middle school, our teacher left the room for a few minutes, so all the kids thought it would be funny to change her background on her computer to a selfie of our class. We went to her desktop and found a weird folder in the corner. We were nosy seventh graders, so obviously we opened the folder. The other kids that stayed in their seat were telling us not to open it. When we clicked on it, we all screamed. She had her nudes saved in the folder on her work computer. Oh. Hold on, wait. On her work, work computer. computer? Teacher, Miss Ma'am. She said, I gotta have them stand by at the ready. Okay, oh. we freaked out and ran back to our seats before we closed out of the picture. So when she came back to the classroom, they were opened on her no, computer. You gotta exit out. She didn't say anything and went straight back to teaching. No, not, her not I'd saying be, anything. It's given it it's happened before. I'd be traumatized. I'd be I would traumatized. Quit. I would quit. Find a new school. Like I mean, who saves their nudes to their work computer? Who just has a folder of their nudes on their computer? I feel like teaching isn't that more middle of a, schoolers and that's what? 
I'm so scared about that one. I'd be traumatized for life. For I sure. would be traumatized too. And I don't think those kids are going to be able to like look at the teacher the same ever again. Oh, they definitely didn't. And the fact that she has a whole folder, like who knows what was in there? The way that she didn't say anything and she just was like, let me carry on about my day. But also not the other kids warning them, like, don't click that folder. Like, have they How did seen they it? Knew? How did they know? Is this just around the middle school? They <laughs> Dang, now this teacher will just ever, always be known for her nudes. having her nudes. Wow. I mean, girl, go off. Body, top, body positivity. Do whatever you want. But maybe don't save them on your work computer. Especially when you work with children. Like, you work with middle schoolers. This isn't even a college, like... Even if it was a college, I would still put that away. But like that's, middle school, you know, really middle scary. school kids are like the nosiest kids. I yeah. feel like that's like the nosiest age group. They're always trying to click on stuff and just get their fingers into something. The sad part about it is they were just trying to do a friendly little prank, you know, and change the background to them. So wow. cute. And they click on this folder and there you go. Wow. Wow. Well, for the children, I'm sorry. And to the teacher, I just I, maybe, maybe don't pick a save profession. your <laughs> maybe don't save your nudes. Maybe to just your don't computer. have that folder on there. I wonder what it was titled. Like, what was the folder called? That's the tea. I, I always I have know. a lot of questions after these confessions, but Very that's scary. crazy. You know, yeah. it's the craziest thing. I feel like that was the least juiciest story out of all of them, and that's still and that's crazy. still insane. Wow. As Tila said before, therapy. Therapy. If, if Better anyway. help. Guys, you know, this is not sponsored, but it could be. <laughs> um, but wow, that was that crazy. Was Have insane. you ever experienced anything like that? Just like seeing somebody else's nudes that you were not expecting to see? No, I've never been in this situation where I've seen like unsolicited nudes. I mean... If we're talking about DMs, that's why I don't open my Instagram DMs because there's Ooh, a lot of things in there scary. that is it's scary in there. It's scary. It's in a lot there. of sugar daddies like Especially I, when I you can't see the images and then if you tap on it, yep. it like unblurs. Or sometimes it'll be like sensitive, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, no. Don't want to tap um, on that. So I never open those because I just know it's going to be bad. Yeah. But no, I've never been in a situation where I've seen like anything. Well, that's good. Thank I feel God. Like <laughs> Knock on the wood. There's no wood. But if there was wood, I would be knocking on it because. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see it. No. Nobody asked for it. And also it's just like boundaries. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Especially when it's like people you work with, like, girl. Damn. Those kids, really I feel like bad that. for them. Those poor hey. kids. <laughs> now you know. Now they know. Now you know. You know? Wow. Oof, I would never see her the same. Never. Awful. That is so bad. I feel like it's bad enough for kids. Like, I feel like kids, especially in middle school age, they don't even see their teachers as people. Mm -hmm. They're like, that's my teacher. Like, whenever they see teachers, like, out and about, they're like, huh? They have a real life. So, like, to see a teacher like that, yeah. traumatized. Very jail jail thank you so much bella for being my first guest you were a dream to have on thank you for having me i wouldn't have it any other way also uh, um what are your socials and where can people find you on the tiktok and the gram and all that yes i have an instagram at the isabella ferreira i have a tiktok at ell.jpg <laughs> and a twitter at the isabella rose yay so yeah. make sure you guys follow her check her out Watch Love Victor, the last yes. season on Disney season Plus and three. Hulu. It's crazy. This was so um, much fun. Yes. And also, if you guys want to submit any juicy confessions, do not worry. Everything will be completely anonymous. I will not expose you. Make sure you guys click the link in the show notes so that you guys can submit your crazy confessions. Or if you don't want to submit them, get your friend to, your mom, your dad, your cousin, whoever. The juicier, the better. Uh, it's a judgment-free zone. It's a little bit of judgment, but friendly judgment, and we will not expose your identity. So, it's a win-win, and I love you guys so much. I will be here next week with another guest, and yeah, the team is hot. Hot. Bye, guys! Bye!